now let us discuss about list interface in java list interface is a child interface of the collection interface list interface is available in uh, util package now let's see what is a list list means ordered collection of elements ordered collection of elements so ordered collection means in list insertion order is preserved insertion order is preserved so that means the elements are stored in the list according to the order which we inserted the elements let us assume that uh, we inserted elements like uh, 10 20 30 40 then in the same order the elements will be stored in the list so that's why it is called as ordered collection so the elements will be stored according to the order insertion order is preserved and list allows duplicate elements so we can insert the duplicate elements as well as null insertion is possible so this is about what is a list in order to use the full functionality of the list interface we have several classes so the first class is array list class the second class is linked list class next we have stack and the fourth one is vector so these are the classes which are available in the list interface so in this video we are going to discuss about how we can use array list class in order to use the full functionality of the list interface in the next video we will see about uh, uh, linked list interface so array list so what is array list array list is a class which is available in the list interface okay uh, first let's see about uh, uh, the methods of the list interface the methods of the list interface so we can use all the methods of the list interface in array list class also so here the methods of list methods of list interface so the first method is add method so add of e so add method is useful in order to add an element into the list so by default at the end it will insert the element so parallelly let's see the example uh, so first we have to import java dot util package why because list interface is available in util package next to public class let name of the class is array list demo array list demo next public static void main string ox string ox so what is the name of the program this array list demo dot java so that is the name of the program so first we have to create an object for array list class for creating the object in the left hand side we can use list reference uh, list in place of list we can also use array list also so list let us assume that the reference is l l equal to here we have to create object for the array list so new array list new array list so at the left hand side instead of list we can also use array list also okay so now we can use all the methods of the list interface so what is the first method add method so here what is the reference l so l dot add of 10 so now what will happen uh, first 10 will be added 10 will be added into the list so here what is the uh, so which class we are using array list class so array list means uh, by default it will uses array list uses a data structure called dynamic array dynamic array array list uses dynamic array or growable array so the underlying data structure which we uses in array list is first let's see some important points of the array list 
then after that we will see the program so the underlying data structure which we use in a list is dynamic array or global array so dynamic array means according to our requirement we can increase the size of the array or we can decrease the size of the array if we want we can insert 100 elements so then the array size will be increased to 100 so if you want we can reduce that size uh, if you want we can shrink that size to one element or two elements also okay next uh, array list means here it here uh, it contains ordered collection of the elements so that means insertion order is preserved same points that we discussed in the list duplicates are allowed duplicates are allowed next null insertion is possible now let's see the program next l dot add off if we want we can insert some string also let the string is ramu so now what will happen so initially we have list contains 10 next after that at the end this ramu will be inserted this ramu will be inserted next l dot add off null insertions are also possible let us insert null now so 10 ramu next what is the next element null so by default the elements will be inserted at the end so the next method is add of index comma element so here the first argument is index so if we want to insert an element at a particular index then we can use this method add of i comma e so let the next statement is l dot add of 2 comma 2 comma 20 so now what will happen yet the second index 20 will be inserted so what is the second in index so 10 is first index so this ramu is 10 is zero index ramu is first index so second index means this index 20 and after that we have none so this is about what is the use of this yard method so now let's see the next statement uh, so here the next method is remove method remove method so we can specify the index also so if you want to remove an element by specifying the index then we can use use this method remove so let us write here for space constraints i am writing here so l dot remove of so let us remove it 0 1 2 3 so third index l dot remove of 3 so now what will happen this element will be deleted so now the list will contain 10 ramu and 20 next we have one more remove method so that is remove of by specifying the element also we can perform the deletion so for that we, we have to use the double quotation so l dot remove of that element so if you want to remove a particular element so th then that that element should be enclosed in double quotations let us assume that i want to remove 10 so then l dot remove of 10 10 so if you don't enclose 10 within the double quotations then what will happen the element at 10th index will be removed if you place in double quotations then that 10th element will be removed so 10th element so this element will be removed so now the contents of the list are ramu 20 so that is the next method so for space constraints i am erasing this portion so the next method is get method get of index so get method gives the element by specifying the index so system dot out dot println element at zeroth index plus for concatenation we have to use plus so l dot get of zero get of zero so what is the element at zero index ramu so we will get output as ramu okay next the last method we have plenty of methods but these are the important methods the next method is set method so if we want to set the element at a particular index then we have to use the set method so set method is useful for replacement purpose so instead of ramu let us assume that we want to replace with somu somu then we can use this one l dot set of so ramu is stored at zeroth index so zero comma within the double quotation so so at the zero index this so we will be printed next to system dot out dot print and off display this list so we will get output in this square brackets so what is the first element 50 
second element 20. So likewise if you want uh, display the output one by one. So after performing each operation also you can display the list. Okay. So after addition operation display one list. After remove one, one list. After index one list. Next after get one list. After set one list. Likewise also we can use. So this is about a array list class which we use in order to use the full functionality of the list interface. In the next video we will see about link list interface and after that we will see about the difference between array list and uh, link list class. Okay? So link list is a class, array list is a class which we use for uh, implementing the full functionality of the list interface.